Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make one of my weeknight staples. It's my apple crostata. It is so simple. And I'm going to tell you something. If you're anything like me, where you find yourself working on a Wednesday afternoon and then you realize, oh, I have company coming over for dinner, what am I going to make? And you know, after you figure out what you're going to make for dinner, then you got to think about dessert. Well, if you just keep a few things on hand, very simple things like apples and some pastry crust, you know, basic pastry crust in the fridge, whether it's store bought or homemade, you can make this in half an hour. And it is so delicious, it's so comforting, makes your house smell incredible, and it really, I mean, this recipe saves me every single time. So, before we get started, we gotta go over the ingredients, so let's do it. You're gonna need some just regular apples. I'm using Macintosh apples that I have peeled, quartered, and cut into chunks, just like that. You're gonna need some regular sugar, flour, cinnamon, some orange zest, and some basic pastry crust. Now this is store-bought. Why is it store-bought? Because that's what I have on hand, and when it's on sale, I got two for $1.99. When it's on sale, I stock up. They're individually wrapped, so I put them in the freezer, and anytime I need to use it, pop one out, and I've got, you know, I've got pretty much a whole stock in my freezer. Uh, but it's super simple. Get your oven nice and hot to 400, put your pie, pie crust onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Now, in the bowl, in this big bowl, we're gonna add our apples, our flour and cinnamon, a little bit of orange zest. Now, I use orange zest because I use orange zest anytime I cook anything with apples, like I put it in my apple pie, I put it in my apple crisp, my apple muffins, apple cider, apple butter, apple cupcakes, you know, the list can go on and on and on. But I just like the way that it tastes, I think it goes really well with them. Okie doke, that's perfect, and we're going to put most of our sugar, I'm going to leave that much back. And I'm just going to give this a toss, very simple and easy, right? You can do this. From start to finish, if you already have pie crust made, this will take you half an hour. And I'm telling you, it's so good with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Oh, no one's going to think that you put this together so quickly. Guarantee it. So, once you've got this pretty much well mixed, I'm not precise, you know me. I'm going to put this in the middle of my pastry crust. And then... Make a nice little pile. You want to leave a two inch border because I'm going to show you why. I'm going in with my hands because this is just easier to do. Okie doke. That looks perfect. Now what I'm going to do is very rustic. Okay? Just fold up the sides like so. See that? Just fold them up really nice and easy. Nothing fancy. Just a delicious rustic dessert. You can do this with pears, that would be fantastic as well. I do make a killer one. My oven's nice and hot. I do make a nice pear and cranberry crostata, which I will definitely share with you. But this just needs to go into the oven, 400 degrees, 25 to 30 minutes, or until the crust is nice and deeply golden, and then I'll show you what it looks like. My crostata baked for about 25 minutes, and then I let it cool for about 15 minutes, so it's still warm, but it's going to hold its shape better. And as you can see, it's super delicious looking, and it's nice and rustic how I like it. Now, with the remaining sugar, because I'm a total scatterbrain, I forgot to sprinkle it on top. That's a completely optional thing. But, you know, sometimes I like it because it gives extra texture, but it's not really necessary. And like I said, I'm a total scatterbrain, so I forgot to put it on top, but it will not affect this recipe whatsoever. That's just an extra step. Now this makes four really generous servings. I'm just gonna take a piece of it for myself. Look at that. Hmm, isn't that gorgeous? How simple and easy was that? Now again, serve this with some vanilla ice cream or whipped cream. Mm. So wonderful. Mm. So homey, but when you put this on a, like a pretty plate and you bring it out to dinner, you know, as dessert, obviously, to your guests, it makes such a pretty presentation and it tastes and smells divine. I love apples. I love apple anything. And like I said, if you keep just a few ingredients on hand, you can make this in a cinch in the middle of the week that, you know, weeknight. Somebody shows up, well, guess what? You can make them a wonderful homemade dessert a cup of coffee, and you will be the hostess with the mostest. Guarantee it. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. I gotta go continue to eat my dessert. 
And if you want to get this recipe, you know where to go, www.laurenandkitchen.com. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.